Hey everyone, so I am back again. This is probably going to go up be right before or after my tattoo video. Um, there were just two other random things I wanted to talk about in my now titled slime using videos. It's just my kind of random thoughts and stuff. Um, one of the things was I mentioned, I think in a comment, on a previous video how I was getting tired of my micro braids. I think I only had them in for a little over a month maybe. I don't remember. And I just got tired of them. I, I missed feeling like my whole head and they were kind of itchy and I missed the volume of my curls and I don't know. I just got bored and they were getting in the way of stuff like the hair and Ugh. And I would see other naturals. Like, I remember whenever I would meet people, um, if they had natural hair, and I was like, oh, I like your hair. And they're like, thank you. I was like, you know, underneath here, I'm natural too. <laughs> um, I don't know why I felt the need to say that. Like, hey, I'm cool too. Like, you can be cool whatever way you're rocking your life and your style. But I don't know. I guess I think I'm cooler with my curls. I have no clue. Don't quote me on that. So I took them out last night. So I was looking on YouTube for quick ways to take them out and you know I couldn't tell if, pe if these videos were of people who had relaxed hair or natural hair. Don't even know if it makes a difference. Um, and a lot of these videos was like, oh it only takes two hours. Um, so maybe that factors into if your hair is relaxed or not and the length of your hair because it didn't take me two hours it took me six hours um and i did i soaked it in water and then i mean i probably went through like two bottles of conditioner um like my sink is probably clogged with just chunks of conditioner at this point but i got them out and i was so excited like it was just oh it was great um, I also actually, on my birthday, I'm going to buzz all my hair off. Um, yeah, I'm excited about that too. Anyways, so that's one of the random things I wanted to talk about. My hair is back. I know you guys only just saw one video with me having the micro braids and your compliments were great, but I'm done. I am over that. So another thing I wanted to talk about is something that happened this weekend. Um, I found this cool new coffee shop that I love and I've been spending a lot of time there on the weekends to edit videos and pictures and get a lot of writing and personal projects and stuff done. It's so great this coffee house but I'm not even going to tell you because I don't I don't want people going there and like taking my seat. Um, so this I was there this week and the way it's kind of set up, you know, you can have your own individual chairs and tables, but then they also have these longer tables with like church pews and stuff. So everyone just kind of sits at this table with their laptops up. So you're sitting close to people. And I remember this girl, uh, we both kind of arrived at the same time and we were both looking for an outlet to plug in our laptop and we realized it was behind the pew so we kind of bonded over a moment of like coordinating moving the pew out the way so we could plug in our laptop and I grabbed it for her and and then we were all settled um, and then as we were there for I don't know how long we were there for a few hours or what but every now and then we talk with each other or whatever just quick small stranger talk um, and there were some other people at this table too. Uh, it's a really friendly coffee shop because every now and then we would all start talking to each other. So as I'm editing, editing my videos, I noticed, so she was like typing really fast, like with a frenzy because she was chatting with someone. Not that I was trying to be up in her business, but I noticed like, you know, a bubble thing kept popping up. So she was chatting with someone. She was editing a website, working on some pictures, doing some writing, a bunch of stuff. And she was kind of going fast with it, you know, moving back and forth and blah, blah, blah. And then I noticed she just started to slow down. Um, just a little here and there. And then, like, then there were longer pauses between it. Um, and then she closed the laptop down. I'm still, like, working on myself, but you notice it in your peripheral. 
uh, view. And then she put her head down. I'm like, oh, maybe, you know, she's tired of looking at the screen. I, I don't know. I didn't register it. And then, out of nowhere, she, like, so her head is down. And she pops up and falls on me. And, like, for a second, I was just like, this is weird. Why is she, like, on me? And I look at her. And her eyes are rolling in the back of her head. Um, and I, did, I didn't know. <laughs> like, oh my goodness. Um, so one of the things is I'm, like, I'm trained in first aid and CPR. I got my little card in my wallet. Um, so part of me is like going through the stuff in my head. And the only thing I'm remembering is like, there's not much that I can do. You know, I need to check to see if she's breathing, if her heart is still beating, um, you know, if there are any injuries I can help. But, you know, from what it looked like, she was having a seizure or like an epileptic attack or something. And there's not much you can do in those moments that I know of. But it didn't even matter because I kind of, I froze. Um... And not, how do I explain this? No, no, I just, I've never had that happen before. Someone just like, you know, you might be even at a place and you see someone like fall out across the room or they trip, but to, to have someone like faint and seize on you, oh my goodness, um, so I just, I wasn't like screaming like, oh my God. I just kind of, I, on my inside I was shaking and on the outside I'm just like, well, I don't know what to do. Like I can't, please don't let this girl die in front of me because I have asked to have one year of no one dying. Um, and I can't, th so that's enough. So ever since I turned 14, once a year, and sometimes more, someone close to me has died. And not like a distant relative or, you know, a friend of a friend of a friend, like best friend's little sister or grandma um, or um, boyfriend, best friend type thing. So, so I decided this year... <laughs> I was going to tell God or whoever else how the world was going to work. And this year, I decided that I get a year of magical living. And no one close to me can die. I just, it's just not going to happen. Um, and so, for a brief moment, as this girl has fainted, I'm like, oh, is this, like, is this your sick joke, God? You're like... Okay, fine. I won't kill a family member, but I'll have a stranger fall out in front of you. My mind works weirdly. I make. I... Anyways, now all this, this sounds like twenty minutes have gone by and the girl's fainting. When really it's been like five seconds. Um, but my mind is just like twenty things are going on in five seconds. So one of the guys who was sitting at the table, he runs across and. He, like, took charge. Like, he was, like, the ideal CPR first aid student. He was, like, what I saw in the videos when I was being trained. Um, he took charge of the situation. Like, he went to her and he, like, stabilized her head because I, like, moved out of the way slowly so she was laying on the pew. So he stabilized her head. He pointed to me. He was like, you call the police. He pointed to another girl. He was like, you get water. Get a towel. You clear the area. Like... He was like taking charge and he was cute, but that's beside the point. Um, and he's like getting a master's and some amazing thing. And he was making a film and that's beside the point. So I go outside to call the police because the music was too loud in the coffee shop. And, um, and then they revived the girl, you know, after, uh, I guess a minute she came to and she told us that they were vagal episodes uh, and she'd gone to doctors before regarding this and like 
she knew the symptoms, you know, like she lost her hearing right before it happened. And this, this kind of fainting episode ha has happened to her before. So she didn't even want to go to the hospital, um, which is her own choice. Um, I hope that it wasn't because of like insurance reasons, because that's just another thing that would annoy me about the world, that someone would have to turn down needed care because of a, you know, lack of health insurance. Um, oh, I don't know. So there was that. I was getting annoyed at that. I'm like, please don't let it be because this girl doesn't have health insurance. Because uh, she was like, I was just at the doctor three days ago. Like, there's just no point. I don't want to spend the whole day at the hospital. So maybe it was just that. Uh, the other thing, I guess I was, I was kind of freaked out because... You know, a friend of mine, her mom had a brain aneurysm. Um, I, or I remember this little boy used to babysit who used to have seizures. And I just, you just don't know what's happening in those, in those moments. And um, it also makes you think about... No, I guess it makes you reflective of your life. You realize how temporary it all is, how in an instant it could just be over. Whether you're having a vago episode like her, or you get hit by a bus, or you get bitten by a poisonous spider, or you die of cancer. Like, at any moment, your life as you know it right now could be over. Um, and I've talked about it before. I did a Living on Purpose video where I talk about Todd Skinner. It's something I remind myself of uh, every few months, although I should remind myself of this every day. Um, you know, if I were to die in this moment, would, would I be okay with that being my last moment? You know, when I was in that coffee shop, um, before, you know, she fainted I was editing pictures and I was learning new things about my camera I was updating my website I was writing out a, a business plan I was journaling listening to new music and I, I was in my I was doing my thing and if I were to go in that moment um that would have been okay with me um or when I think about when I'm with my family or many moments in my life, you know, there are probably a couple other moments in my life that could stand to be tweaked um, because I want, I guess it goes back to my video. It's all about living on purpose. I, I want every moment to be intentional and because I know I could die at any moment. I want to make sure that I'm living the life I want to live. That I'm centered and I'm well. And I am in like the place that I want to be in. That's what I, you know, later on after the girl was better. She stayed around for a little bit more. Um, and then she went home. But that's what I what I thought about afterwards that um, even though my life is in a very great place it's just a constant reminder like even as I make this video like if I were I mean it's, I don't it's morbid um, and knock on wood but if I were to faint right now um, like that and die that would be okay you know because I would I would have died in a moment of telling others about living on purpose um so that happened a girl fainted on me and I freaked the crap out um not in a outward way but in a way of like these things happen this is that moment where the random girl you don't know faints on top of you and her eyes are rolling in the back of her head and now you have to call 911 and sitting right across the way is someone still typing on their MacBook Pro listening to their music not even realizing what just happened here.
I'm rambling. I really am. And I don't mean to. Um, it just, it, it was an eye opener for me. A much needed one right now. Um, so for you guys, ladies, for all of you, it's my hope that all the moments in your life are moments that you want to be in, are moments that you could stay in forever and be content and satisfied. Um, life, people say it all the time, but it's true. Life is too short. And as my friend Q wrote this article on her magazine, um, there's no such thing as someday. Someday I'll do this. Someday I'll leave my job and start a business. Or someday I'll travel the world. Or someday I'll get married and have kids. That's not, I, that's a no for me, but I'm just using examples. There's no such thing as someday. It's this moment right here. How are you living the intentional, purpose, purpose-filled life that you imagine? Because in an instant, it could be gone. Enough of my rambling. I wish you guys well. And I will see you soon.